Hello, in Malta, and examining some cruci crucifixes which I bought from Sweden. The, these are Swedish crucifixes, and they are widely available in Sweden. They are something of a Swedish product. Um, there's nothing like this in England. Um, and there's nothing really like this in Malta. It is very much a Swedish thing. I think most people would say they're French if they just, most dealers would say, oh, they're French, but they're not French, they're Swedish. Um, the, the thing about these is that they're 18th century. They're not Victorian. They, 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 could, they could just about be Victorian, but they are going to be either late 18th century or early 19th century, so they're sort of 1780 to 1820. That's that's the, the date of these things, and you can see from these here, some have got um, quite a brassy brass, and some have got a, a rosy, bronzy brass, and um, the, the the variation in the metal is is appealing. In northern Europe, Holland, and up there, 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 is, there is a desire to have unfinished bronze and brass. They have bed, bed warming pans, they have chestnut roasters, they have candlesticks. And it's not, an, not a, a sort, of, sort of item which would, would have been plated. For example, if it's in Italy, they would have probably been silver plated if they'd been Italian, but they're not. This is, this is the finish that they, that they wanted up, up in Sweden. And these would have been domestic crucifixes. They wouldn't have been for a church. They're too small and they're too ordinary, um, were too ordinary. The, the, uh, the, some of the features are they have a skull and crossbones on some of them. Then we've got um, on that one there the cross is the beam is angled. Some of them generally in Christian art you'll, you'll see sometimes the cross has got the beam angled. Um, they've got this same sort of floral decoration on the corners. The items have been cast and then they've been trimmed and they've been chased to provide the, the decoration. Um, what's happened here, I imagine they made a spun a, a cone and then, and then cut it in half. They get, they get two bases out of each one. They've welded together or brazed it, brazed it together to use the right word. Um, and notably on all of these, it says Inri and that means the king of the Jews this is what the Romans put on the cross to mock Jesus um, it was it was the Jewish elders that had him crucified it wasn't the Romans did it but the, 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 the Romans did it to assuage the leadership of the Jewish community of which Jesus was one person so you've got the Roman aspect you've got the Jewish aspect you have Jesus uh, the the, te the texture is, is rubbed in each case. There's obvious age to them. Um, this in one in particular has some very fine chasing on the bottom and great detail. Not excessive detail, but lo lovely detail on on the, on the Jesus. Um, and I, I think that they're distinctive. The profile is narrow. I think they would have gone a mantelpiece, rather like the English statue figures, which are very shallow, it, it would have gone on a very modest shelf or or mantelpiece or chimney breast. So we have these in Malta. I think they look wonderful as a group, but they're going to be sold separately. And they are as old as I say they are. I'm, I'm, they are as old as I claim them to be. They are around 1700, 1700 sorry, around 1800 in age, 1780 to, to 1820. Um, thanks very much for having a look.